Welcome to Sunday School for our junior high students for Sunday, November 5th, 2023. I do not own the rights to this music. Today's Bible basis is coming out of Exodus chapter 3, verses 7 through 17. The title of today's story, Ready to Serve. When Shanice's youth pastor asked her to be the student leader of the youth group, she was speechless. You're always coming up with ideas for the youth group, and you're more organized than anyone I know, he said. But I'm not a leader. I wouldn't be able to teach the class or lead projects. I can't do any of that stuff. You'll only have to teach when I'm not able to. And why couldn't you lead projects? You could finally put some of your ideas into practice. Shanice liked that idea. She prayed about it that night and decided to accept the position. How could she ever expect to serve God if she didn't take the opportunities that came along? God, I'm trusting you for help, she prayed. The following Sunday, she stood before the youth group, notebook in hand, and said, This week, we're going on a field trip. Get ready to serve. Shanice and the youth pastor led the class as they all walked through the neighborhood and met kids their age. They handed out flyers, invited them to the youth group, and talked to them about God. Over the next few weeks, their youth group grew so much that they had to change rooms. In press, the pastor said, Shanice, that was a great idea. I never would have thought of sending our youth group out into the neighborhood. But look what happened. Those kids really listened. It's because of you that they got to hear about our youth group and maybe they'll hear about God too. Shanice smiled. It wasn't me, Pastor. I was just being obedient. God gave me the job. Then he helped me to do it. The memory verses for today's lesson. Go and gather the elders of Israel together and say unto them, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob, appeared unto me, saying, I have surely visited you, and seen that which is done to you in Egypt. And I have said, I will bring you up out of the affliction of Egypt, unto the land of the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, unto a land flowing with milk and honey. And that's Exodus chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. The lesson scripture, Exodus chapter 3, verses 7 through 17. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters. For I know their sorrows, and I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians, and to bring them up out of that land, unto a good land and a large, unto a land flowing with milk and honey, unto the place of the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites. Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me, and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And Moses said unto God, Who am I, that I should go unto Pharaoh, and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? And he said, Certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee, that I have sent thee. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, ye shall serve God upon this mountain. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers have sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am have sent me unto you. And God said, Moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, have sent me unto you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. Go and gather the elders of Israel together, and say unto them, 
The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob, appeared unto me, saying, I have surely visited you, and seen that which is done to you in Egypt. And I have said, I will bring you up out of the affliction of Egypt, unto the land of the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, unto a land flowing with milk and honey. Preparation for Deliverance Moses was afraid to do what God asked of him. He didn't think he was qualified enough to go against Pharaoh and free God's people from slavery. But God had already done huge things in Moses' life, proving that he was able to help Moses with this step as well. When we obey, God always takes care of the details. Our Secret Weapon Fear keeps us from doing so much. Shanice from the story today didn't feel like she was qualified to lead the youth group, but just like God saw Moses' potential, Shanice's youth group leader saw hers. When Moses looked at himself, he saw his weaknesses, but God saw a man who was right for the job. God knew Moses would have one powerful secret weapon, his heavenly father's power. Whenever we are obedient, we too can have God's power behind us. Imagine what God could do through you. Saying yes. How many people in history have said yes when God called them to do something hard? Make a list of everyone you can think of and the differences they made. Also think about people you know who have gone out of their way to make a difference for someone else. What good might come out of you saying yes and trusting God to help you? The Bible readings for the week. Monday, the topic is the Lamb of God. Read John chapter 1 verses 29 through 37. Tuesday, the topic is the troubles multiply. Read Exodus chapter 5 verses 19 through 23. Wednesday, the topic is broken spirits and closed ears. Read Exodus chapter 6 verses 2 through 9. Thursday, the topic is the final plague. Read Exodus chapter 11. Friday, the topic is the first Passover. Read Exodus chapter 12 verses 21 through 28. Saturday, the topic is the Lord delivered Israel. Read Exodus chapter 12 verses 43 through 51. And on Sunday, the topic is the promise to Passover. Read Exodus chapter 12 verses 1 through 14. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.